okay in this session i will discuss about the bond cleavage as well as the reaction intermediates okay let us see what is the bond cleavage actually organic chemical reactions are there and those organic chemical reactions takes place through the formation of reactive intermediates that means actually these intermediates are uh, classified can be classified into free radicals carbocation carbene ion so there are three types of intermediates uh, are there in the organic chemical reactions so in that case the bond cleavage can be introduced in this organic discussion so in that first case we can say homolytic cleavage homo homolytic cleavage this is uh, also called as a symmetrical cleavage another name for this one is nothing but symmetrical cleavage okay <clears throat> in the name itself uh, there is a information which is given that is uh, electrons equally sharing between the atoms that means which two electrons are shared in a sigma bond <clears throat> become unpaired as the bond broken this we know so once the bond broken the two electrons uh, unshared electrons equally distributed to the atoms which already existed with a covalent bond okay so now if you see this kind of things that is uh, ch3 ch3 is there here this is the cleavage which gives electrons equally like this so once uh, this kind of things happened in the presence of light or heat light or heat the compounds the intermediates will be produced like this ch3 dot ch3 dot or in other words if the things are related to carbon nitrogen things like uh, ch3 nh2 here also the things happen like this in the presence of light and heat you will be getting a ch3 dot nh2 dot so the species formed here we can call they are uh, free radicals they are free radicals actually free radicals are electrically neutral they are uh, electrically neutral and they are extremely reactive they are extremely reactive their stability in the order their stability is in the order of like this this is we have three alkyl groups are there with this carbon tertiary free radical you can say this is which is uh, third degree 
greater stable than the secondary free radical that is having a only two alkyl groups this is second degree which is uh, <clears throat> stable than primary that is or ch2 that will be stable than ch3 free radical this is so this is a uh, homolytic cleavage so what is homolytic cleavage when a sigma bond covalent bond is uh, formed with the help of two electrons the two electrons will be equally again distributed once the bond separation bond cleavage or bond fission taken place in the presence of light or heat the resultant species are called as free radicals react to intermediates they are electrically neutral and extremely reactive the carbon free radical stability order which is given a tertiary is greater than secondary greater than primary greater than methyl free radical that is methyl free radical okay now we will uh, discuss about uh, another kind of free radicals that is benzylic allylic free radicals how they are getting stabilized see now we will see benzylic allylic usually benzylic means uh, is a benzene ring with a ch2 group will be there that is benzylic inside benzene ring as usual will be having double bonds and this carbon attached side carbon is having dot that is uh, free radical so this is called as uh, benzylic free radical benzylic free radical and this benzylic free radical is subjected to stabilization when the electrons inside the benzene ring also undergoing delocalization with this one so that time what will happen inside the benzene ring will be getting a vacancy and a double bond with this carbon like this so here what will happens is nothing but this bond uh, electron this electron will come like this here one electron will come that time there is a dot that means unpaired electron unshared electron will come odd electron over one carbon of the benzene that is uh, <clears throat> the thing and this will be extended continued throughout the benzene ring so after that we can write one more dot and double bond will be continued on the extended carbon here so this is the structure another way we can write that is it will come on to very close to this ch2 like this and that time we will be having a double bond here here so these are the <clears throat> benzyl radicals benzyl radicals we have shown free radical stabilized So, via resonance.
you can say they are got stabilized by a resonance. Another, we have allylic periodical is there, allylic. In such a case, what will happen? There are three carbon atoms are there we have in a carbon chain. And uh, there is a unsaturation is also present. This is the allylic free radical. Allylic free radical. So this allylic free radical also undergoes resonance like this. That is, we have uh, a CH2 dot. CH double bond CH2. So how it takes place is nothing but uh, there is a homolytic cleavage. Because of the homolytic cleavage, only this will come like this and this bond cleavage takes place like this. And here one unpaired electron here. This will be continued. Actually in benzene ring you will be getting more. That means Benzylic and allylic free radicals here are said to be stabilized via resonance. And these two are more stable than, they are said to be more stable than what we have told earlier, alkyl free radicals. Alkyl free radicals. Earlier we have shown alkyl free radical stability here, and now we have told that benzylic free radical and allylic free radical are extremely stable than alkyl free radicals because of the resonance stabilization. And not only that one, this greater stability, <clears throat> greater the stability concept is said to be easier will be the formation of free radical in the case of uh, the methyl free radical actually sp2 hybridized here where uh, the three ch bonds are singly occupied uh, three ch bonds three sigma bonds are there and with so car hydrogen and uh, one electron singly occupied p orbital is present with a CH angle of 120 degrees only. So now we will uh, <clears throat> have that type of discussion, we will do it. Eh? What is that thing we are going to discuss is nothing but, we are going to tell about what is the structure of methyl free radical, methyl radical. So it is CH3 dot eh? in this, uh, the greater the stability is easier will be the formation of species. So whenever stability is more for a free radical, easily that free radical will be formed. In this case of methyl free radical, this carbon is said to be, the carbon is said to be sp2 hybridized. sp2 hybridized. As you know, that uh, there are three hydrogens and three sigma bonds will be formed. So how many sigma bonds? There are three sigma bonds with hydrogens and <clears throat> over that carbon only that electron, the one electron what we are telling that is uh, a singly occupied, you can say that is a uh, single occupied P orbital. P orbital. Because we have a <clears throat> four unpaired electron set is there in the carbon before hybridization. So the four unpaired electrons in the excited state one S orbital and two P orbitals only hybridized to SP2 hybridized concepts. 
but one <coughs> unpaired electron in the carbon which remains uh, unshared so that contains the single occupied uh, the dot that is one electron okay this is regarding the homolytic cleavage bond cleavage now we are going to discuss about what is heterolytic cleavage heterolytic cleavage as i said earlier homolytic cleavage is uh, <clears throat> symmetrical cleavage means uh, the bond contains two electrons will be equally shared after the separation of the bond also in the homolytic cleavage but in this heterolytic cleavage we are saying that cleavage is uh, on symmetrical cleavage on symmetrical cleavage so in the unsymmetrical cleavage generally what will happens the bond separated out between the two carbon and two atoms but the bond containing two electrons will be completely taken by only one of the atom in the <clears throat> process of cleavage that means when we have a a b suppose if you take a b two are different and the bond containing two electrons are there once the bond is uh, broken between the atoms according to this uh, heterolytic cleavage okay or fission okay the cleavage happened but in this case we are saying the if you consider b is the more electron negative than a the shared electrons completely travels towards or uh, completely transfers to b after the cleavage b will become negatively charged intermediate species and a will become positively charged species so in this case what i am taking is uh, b is the more electron negative when b is uh, more electron negative uh, than a in this case if the case is quite different that means oppositely if you can assume then a b bond is there containing two electrons the two electrons are shifted towards a after this kind of uh, heterolytic fission or cleavage then a will become negative b will become positive in this case we are assuming when uh, a is uh, more electro negative uh, than b okay this is the thing happening so as uh, shown in this above <clears throat> heterolytic fission results the formation of charged species we have a plus b minus in the first equation and a minus b plus in the second equation we have shown these are charged species usually we know that positively charged species is cation negatively charged is anion okay and the cations and anions whatever formed here usually occurs in this case of polar covalent bond powered by polar solvents <clears throat> when the covalent bond is a polar covalent bond between the dissimilar atoms okay in the formation of carbo cation so if cation is carbon the cation is carbon then that is called as that is called as carbocation carbocation we find that sp3 hybridization is there in that case 
in a carbon compound like uh, CH3X is there. Suppose CH3X is there. In this, uh, carbon is sp3 hybridized. Carbon is sp3 hybridized. After the cleavage, what we have noticed uh, for the particular case is nothing but carbon, if it is positively charged because of more electronegative X is there in with this. After the cleavage, the X become negative and uh, carbon become positive. In that case, the carbon will set to be sp2 hybridized. So, in organic, an organic ion is there with a pair of available electrons. The negative charge central atom is there. In that case, that carbon is said to be carbon ion. Suppose you have uh, understand one thing that if a group attached to this carbon is uh, less electronegative than carbon. Here, X is, uh, in the first case, X is more electronegative. And now I am showing a case, whereas carbon is getting negative charge. Okay. <clears throat> carbon we are getting negative charge they are called as carbon ions and y will become positive in that case i am writing y is uh, uh, less electronegative than carbon Okay. Okay. In such case, the carbon ion is there in that it is sp3 hybridized. Tetrahedral sp3 hybridized. So the carbon ion possesses unshared pair of electrons, represents a base. The best likely description is that central carbon atom is sp3 hybridized with unshared pair occupying one apex of the tetrahedron in the carbon ion. But in the case of carbonium ion, it is not like that because uh, the one electron which is completely lost. So, there is an empty orbital is there in the case of carbonium ion. So, carbonium ions will exhibit acidic nature. Carbon ions will exhibit a basic nature. That is... Uh, the information we have. We have uh, also one of the best thing here is reaction intermediate in the homolytic is uh, we have told the carbonium ions, carboniums will be separately studied. So, <clears throat> I'll be giving the information separately to that one also in the later studies. But now I can say one thing that in a case of carbon ions, what we have told, if Anion, I am saying, is uh, anion is carbon that is called as carbon ion. Okay, in this case, I have an information that uh, the methyl carbon ion is least stable, like I said earlier, which is. Uh, uh, most stable reverse to that uh, carbon ions here uh, we have uh, told and uh, after that we have a secondary carbon ion primary carbon ion methyl primary greater than the secondary carbon ion
which is greater than the tertiary carbon ion here one reason we can uh, expect that uh, is nothing but electron is carbon is a negatively charged one and its electron density is already more that time if ch3 groups attached to that carbon that means uh, is first one is methyl so methyl we don't have any kind of carb uh, uh, carbons with the other carbon the c minus but in uh, primary carbon ion we have one methyl group is there that methyl group because of its tendency it increases the electron density over the carbon electron density should not get increased because already electron density is more and that should get stability means that ch3 group should not be attached to that and uh, secondary there are two ch3 group attached and tertiary we have three ch3 group attached to that so negative charge should get neutralized negative charge is increasing means because of ch3 groups that is uh, said to be least stable so in organic ion with a pair of available electrons and negative charge in central atom is called as carbon ion and the stability order now we have observed that is uh, methyl greater than primary greater than secondary greater than tertiary and in this case we can say one thing that is in place of CH3 groups. If CH3 groups are not there with the carbon ion, electron with the drawing groups are there like CN minus group or CO groups are there which increase the stability of the uh, car uh, carbon ions and uh, electron releasing groups are there, they will decrease the stability of the carbon ions. So, <clears throat> CN, C double bond O are there. These are actually electron withdrawing groups are there. They will increase the stability of the carbon ions. Whereas uh, we have electron releasing groups are the just now we saw methyl group is there, CH3 group is there. That we can say electron releasing group is there. That will decrease the stability of uh, stability of carbon ions. So carbon ion stability is based on the attached group type. That means group, there are two types we are going to discuss. That is electron with the drawing groups and electron releasing groups. If electron with the drawing group is attached to the carbon ion, then that stability of the carbon ion will gradually increase. If the electron releasing groups like methyl groups are there, methoxy groups are there, means what will happen? Their uh, stability decreases because their electron releasing tendency further increases the electron density over the carbon ion that will get less stable. <clears throat> and uh, the main thing, the most important thing earlier we told that benzyl uh, carbon uh, free radicals and all these things. In this also we have uh, Benzyl carbon ion is there again stabilized by resonance. In the case of oh, benzyl carbon ion is there, as uh, I've told that uh, CH2 group attached to benzene ring is benzyl. So this can also be get stabilized uh, by resonance. Okay, like we have wrote earlier for the free radical, this can also be understand like that. So this is uh, about uh, uh, homolytic cleavage uh, and uh, heterolytic uh, cleavage. So we have observed what is bond cleavage. Bond cleavage is nothing but uh, breaking of a bond between the two atoms, especially in organic chemistry between carbon and other atoms only the discussion will be happen. And carbon-carbon uh, bond we are separating means uh, because of the same type of uh, atoms uh, cleavage that is called as homolytic cleavage. Sometimes the cleavage takes place between the two atoms almost have similar electronegativity which is also called as homolytic cleavage or symmetrical cleavage. This is what uh, we have given an example here. And uh, stability order for the carbon uh, free radicals alkyl free radicals we have given after that uh, we have given benzylic free radical allylic free radical stability stabilized uh, how they got stabilization via resonance we have shown then after we went with the 
methyl radicals uh, small information regarding its uh, structure and hybridization and uh, where that uh, unshared electron is present in the methyl free radical is shown after that uh, we have uh, discussed about the heterolytic cleavage it's unsymmetrical cleavage as we have told that the bond is not said to be equally distributed as electrons bond electrons bond pair of electrons are said to be completely move towards the one atom which is assumed as a more electronegative atom and uh, that is uh, taken with the two illustrations a b type of things here uh, after that we are told that cation if the carbon is a cation that carbon is called as carbo cation intermediate and uh, then after uh, if that carbon is said to be is obtained as a negatively charged one that negative charged anion carbon is called as carbene ion shown the alkyl carbene ions reactivity of also the reactivity of alkyl carbene ions uh, how can be increased or decreased uh, with the presence of electron with the drawing in electron releasing groups then after again we have told one more song, short information that is benzyl carbene ion is stabilized uh, via resonance okay this is the thing we have discussed uh, in this uh, present uh, small session in the next session we will be having uh, the intermediate cases because of cleavages we have understand that the free radicals are there and uh, carbo cations are forming as well as carbon ions are forming and these free radicals in reaction intermediates different kinds of intermediates what is the role play in the organic reaction mechanism we will see in the next session thank you